In this video, we'll try to understand a very interesting thing about ChatGPT, which is feature for studying and learning. People in the metro cities, people in the abroad countries get good instructors, good teachers, good books and everything. You know, imagine a student studying in tier 2 or tier 3 city of any country definitely do not have the access to that knowledge to those professors and instructors. That gap can be overcome. Okay, any person in the world can learn as same instructor teaching in some other country okay you just need to give a right prompt okay the prompt might be suppose for example act like a oxford university professor and teach me photosynthesis in simple language uh, maybe in one paragraph or maybe in 100 lines or you can ask them act like a professor from uh, i am indore i am lucknow or ahmedabad and teach me how to do a business okay or how to start a business so something like this, you can use ChatGPT. But there's a study and learn feature, which is very interesting. Let me show you that. So the study and learn feature, what you can do is you can study like a pro. You can ask questions, you can improve. Okay. And write inside that one chat. Okay. You don't need to go outside. Okay. Same way. And how it is going to help you. It uh, ChatGPT helps you plan, uh, understand and then test yourself like a friendly tutor. Now this friendly tutor will be there 24 seven. It will not get tired. Even at night 12 o'clock or at night 2 p.m., 2 a.m., you can ask them to wake up and teach you anything, okay? So you don't have to wait for someone. I understand it's not that effective like human, but I can say 70-80% it will help you for those people who are studying in Tier 2, Tier 3 city. I find this for them exactly relevant. And for people who are like an uh, introvert, they don't ask questions to their teacher. Even if they have doubts, they feel scared. They don't ask questions. This is the right tool for you. So then what are the things you can ask? Just simple examples. You can make a study plan for photosynthesis in five steps for a student studying in fifth class, 10th class somewhere. Explain this in simple words like I'm in class 18 and create a table. Okay. And you can ask MCQs as well. So let me show you an example here. Let me just copy and I can go to chat GPT. Here in chat GPT, I can click on this new chat, click on the plus sign, more button, and then we have study and learn. So here I can just say control V. The thing is make a study plan for photosynthesis in five steps and I can click on send button. Now this will uh, give the answers in a very simple and easy language. It will help me study and learn as well. Okay. So you see, I don't know your grade level at. Okay. Study and plan. Everything is giving properly. Now let's say if I want to say uh, teach me Power BI. Okay, so Power BI is a tool for data analysis. I'm just asking them teach me Power BI in simple steps. I can write that prompt as well. So what it has done is broken down the Power BI for a beginner level as a roadmap. One, two, three, four, five, all the steps. Okay, and I can tell them, say it's saying to keep it active. I can guide you step by step, but you will actually try things on Power Desktop. Okay, so I'll say go ahead. Okay, and start teaching me. So it will teach me topics step by step in a simple manner. So you can learn any topic in the world and you can learn from the best professors in the world and it can mimic them. Okay, it can mimic them and find out the answers. Okay, so I can say explain me in image format. And you see it has actually created an image. So sometimes it becomes difficult. Okay, my professor once asked me, uh, he taught me entire chapter for electron, neutron. I don't remember the topic name. Okay, electron, neutron, the chapter name, I don't remember. But he said after finishing, none of you people have asked me how does an electron look like? How does a photon look like? So at that time, we were just visualizing. We are just trying to imagine. But now in reality, ChatGPT can throw images. It can give you images, examples, samples of anything you ask. Okay, you just need to ask the right questions and it can develop those pictures so that you can visualize when you see okay a picture speaks thousand words you might have read somewhere right a picture speaks thousand words so you can ask chat gpt to create pictures images that will help me to realize visualize and i can remember those topics as well so you see it is creating an image a picture over here what is power bi power bi is microsoft tools uh, turning raw data somewhere it's making spelling mistakes if you see microsoft's tool okay and uh, the visual picture so now i i can understand it looks like a dashboard column chart line chart bar chart and so on it's given over there right so this is something which is study and learn and you can ask them explain me like a 10 standard boy or a girl 
एक्सप्लेन मी इन अ सिंपल लैंग्वेज एक्सप्लेन मी स्टेप बाय स्टेप और आस्क और टीच मी पावर बी आई इन फ्लैश कार्ड स्टाइल लेट सी इफ इट इज गिविंग दैट नॉट सो टीच मी पावर बी आई टूल इट्स अ डेटा एनालिसिस टूल इन अ फ्लैश कार्ड स्टाइल लेट सी वॉट इट डज सो इट इज गिविन द फ्लैश कार्ड ऑप्शन ओवर देर एंड द लास्ट वन इट इज आस्किंग वॉन्ट मी टू मेक दिस विजुअल फ्लैश कार्ड्स इमेज स्टाइल लाइक रियल कार्ड्स एल सी येस सो दैट वॉट यू कॉल द द टेक्शल डेटा आर क्रिएटेड इन टू अ विजुअल फ्लैश कार्ड्स सो एज आई सेड लर्निंग इज वेरी बोरिंग पीपल पीपल डोंट लाइक टू लर्न ओके इट्स वेरी बोरिंग बट वेन यू कन्वर्ट दैट बोरिंग लर्निंग्स इन टू एन इंटरेस्टिंग गेमिफिकेशन स्टूडेंट्स एंड लर्नर विल बी इंटरेस्टेड दे विल स्टार्ट लर्निंग दिस इन अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग मैनर सो द वे teachers used to teach long back now it has to be changed it has to come into a better format all right so you, you see the image is created and the boring textual has been converted into flash cards no doubt it's not an interactive but you see in the boxes format the bold and not bold symbols icon or the textual uh, style is given there and it becomes little interesting for a person to watch rather than reading this boring text it has converted to a flash card option and i think this way you can make your learnings more interesting and attractive as well so i hope you have understanding how to use this ai feature for studying and learning any topic in the world that's all for this video